Thank you. So I'd just like to explain this relationship a little further is a lot of people ask us what this is all about and you know uh, in strike force we're committed to putting on the best fights that we can and i had the opportunity to work in uh, japan for eight years with k1 i ran the north american operations and uh, mr uh, kazuyoshi ishii was a mentor to me and so to be able to come back and uh, you know and do fights uh, uh, the best fighters in the world from japan and they're not all Japanese fighters. We had Ishida today, but you know, Gegard used to fight in Japan. Uh, Fredo used to fight in Japan. So they have a lot of great fighters in Dreams, and uh, we'll be able to test the best fighters of Strike Force against the best fighters in Dream. And uh, hopefully, we'll be uh, in Japan doing a co-promotion in a relative short time. Is there any questions for Mr. Sasahara? Yes. No. Now that uh, Musasi has the Strike Force 205 shell, is there going to be a push to unify titles across the two different organizations, and who is going to be handling matchmaking? That's uh, a very good question, and I'll answer from from our perspective, you know, first. So, you know, the thing is, we'll do co-promotions together. We will do fights back and fight, uh, sh uh, fighter sharing back and forth. I'd love to get Ayoki to come here and fight Josh Thompson or Gilbert Melendez, and you know, I'd like to see Melvin Manoff fight uh, Robbie Lawler. There's some amazing fights that we can put together, uh, and uh, that's the reason we did this. Because as a martial arts, you know, uh, promoter and as a fan of uh, martial arts, you know, you go, what, what would happen if this guy fought this guy? And now we have the opportunity to do it, and so we're excited. But uh, all the details of the matchmaking or who would do what, or you know, we do a uh, eventually do a co-promotion. Uh, those details haven't been worked out yet. Yeah. Would you um, like looking at doing perhaps uh, a Showtime event from Japan, like maybe or maybe like broadcasting a New Year's Eve type of show, or a big dream show? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you got any last questions for Mr. Sasahara? Any chance of bringing over Mayhem Miller to Kokomo? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we, you know, the thing about Mayhem, he's fighting in Japan, and his contract allows him to fight in Japan with Dreams, but he also has a contract with Strike Force. As well, so he, we will see him in Strike Force, and you know whether he's fighting uh, for us or for Dreams, but maybe, you know Mayhem Miller against uh, Jake Shields. Where's Jake Shields at? Yeah, here? Jake Shields. So we're we're trying to put that fight together. You know maybe Jacare, you know fighting, you know uh, Mayhem or but Mayhem is a is an interesting character, you know as you guys know, and he has some exciting fights, and we're looking forward to having him fight. Scott, would those fights happen only in co-promoted shows, or would they happen in one-off fights, like, you know, Shida was here tonight, would, would there be single exchanges, or would it just be on specific shows that are, you know, notated as co-promoted Yeah, they'll be, they'll be both. Like tonight, it was a Shida coming here, maybe we'll send, uh, you know, one of our fighters to Japan to fight in Dreams, and then it'll go back and forth, you know. But I'd like to uh, get into our champions that fight tonight, and, uh, you know, to my far right here, a lot of people, uh, if you're into the, if you're a hardcore MMA fan, you know, uh, uh, who Gegard Musashi is, and he was introduced to me about, mm, I want to say about two, probably about a year ago, I got a call, from, man, maybe 18 months ago, I got a call from Japan from a friend of mine said, I had this guy, and he's this amazing fighter, and uh, you should really take a look at him, and his name is Gegard Musashi, and I said, wow, is, uh, he's, he's a Japanese living in Holland? Because I thought it was Musashi, you know, like the Samurai Warrior, so... But, you know, I've been following his career. I mean, if you guys don't know, Mosashi won the Dreams Tournament at the 185 pound weight class. So he uh, has tremendous international experience, comes from a very well-recognized camp from Golden Glory. And uh, Gegard, why don't you stand up? I see, I see, I'm sorry. Uh, the, uh, he's from M1, sorry. <laughs> Gegard, sorry, where's, uh, um, I gotta apologize to Abby too. <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about my friend Martin over here. But, uh, and also, everybody here, we've, you know, we, we promoted Gilbert Melendez system. What, the second fight or first fight that uh, we've done here in 2006? Yeah. So, Gilbert Melendez has been here from the very beginning, and I feel like, uh, you know, yeah, he deserves it. That's a very good fight. And, and Gilbert is a, uh, a fighter that, uh, you yeah, know, was, uh, uh, Brought to, he's brought to my attention by, by a, a good friend of mine, and he said, you know what, you've got to check this kid out. And, uh, and I'm, I'm glad we did, I'm glad that he's our uh, interim championship belt, and 
older, and I hope and I look forward to the day that uh, Josh can actually get healthy, and uh, we can put that fight together in the future. Or there's other fights. I mean, I think that uh, Aoki and Gilbert would be fantastic now that the relationship's open, and you know, there's some great fighters, I mean, great fights ahead for both both of you guys. Fabrizio, how you doing? Nice, nice. I'm happy. Seems very happy. So, Mr. Fabrizio, we're done. And as you know, to my far left, uh, Mr. Jay Huron, uh, he was supposed to fight Nick Diaz, and he stepped up to the table after his fight fell through. And, uh, you know, we look forward to having Jay back and, uh, you know, getting that title shot that we promised him. So uh, I apologize to Jay for the situation. It was unfortunate. And I'm glad that uh, you stepped up, picked the fight, and, and you know, let's keep moving forward.